In the 15th century, perspective became an abiding concern for many artists. Paolo Uccello, for example, was almost obsessed by it. He made it his favorite instrument for investigating reality and regarded it as a constant challenge throughout his career. The large panel of the Battle of Romano is a clear example. The painting was the central element of a series of three panels depicting the key episodes of the Battle of 1432, in which the Florentine army defeated the Sienese, allies of Milan. Paolo Uccello was commissioned to produce the panels by Leonardo Bartolini Salimbeni, a prominent politician in Florence at the time, who had taken part in the military campaign. In 1484, Lorenzo the Magnificent asks for it as a gift from Leonardo's descendants, and as Lorenzo was the most powerful man in Tuscany, the request was quickly perceived to be a command. That is how Paolo Uccello's works ended up gracing the walls of Palazzo Medici. After they were moved to the Uffizi, it was decided to exhibit only the central panel in the gallery. The one depicting Niccolò Tolentino at the Battle of San Romano was sold to the National Gallery in London, while the counterattack by Michele Attendolo is now in the Louvre in Paris. The Uffizi panel depicts, in the foreground, the unhorsing of the Sienese commander Bernardino della Ciarda after being struck by the halberd of a Florentine knight. Horses and soldiers are represented as solid geometric volumes, almost imprisoned within the rationalized space by the perspective. The vanishing point is accentuated by the crossing of the broken lances, which form a kind of geometric grid. Although Paolo tried to render space in the depth of bodies and things, his choice and use of colors produce a surreal, almost dreamlike effect. <laughs>